Welcome. Morning. Hey. Hey there, Teresa. Hey, I'm so sorry. I appear to have the morning no problem right across my face. Sorry about that. Okay. That's okay. We see everybody. Hey, Mark. Mark, Good I have responded to your email. Forgive me. I will. Colleen's there. Hey, Colleen. <laughs> Good, we're getting a, we have a great crowd this morning. We'll get started just a second. Teresa, how's your new uh, colleague, the four-footed one? Oh, you know, we fight over her in the office, big time, <laughs> big time. She and I like to get in the floor and play. We have, we have our own special thing that we do. But anyway, I did want to apologize quickly in advance. I somehow managed to double book myself this morning. So I do have to stop, jump off just a couple of minutes before at nine, but I really wanted to at least see everybody. So good. Thank so much you. for doing this. Thanks you for joining us. I know and Cleo's on. Um, Cleo, I know has an eight or nine thirty hard stop. I remember you, you emailed me about that, but thanks for joining Cleo. Hello, Cleo. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hey, hey, Ooh, I feel like I've already been running. <laughs> Doug. Hello, Doug. How are you? Good crowd. Good morning. Morning. Well, great. Um, I think we'll I think we'll go ahead and get started. We we might have a few more, but just so good to see all of you this morning. And you know, this is something a, a labor of love bringing business partners together. We've had conversations over the years about how to really, you know, have this group get together and learn from each other and share with each other. And um, now, since I guess the last few months, we've been meeting monthly as a group, and I'm just delighted that so many of you are joining us this morning. Um, the way that we're, we're handling these is we're allowing each of you, if you'd like an opportunity to really host one of these sessions, um, to, to really showcase what, what it is that you do, help your business partners see ways that we can collectively um, work together perhaps on things, or at least know what the other resources are out, are out there. And of course, the main focus is how do we better support the members of Together SC? I mean, that... That's why you all belong to the organization. You're valued members of our organization. You work with so many of the, the organizations that we serve. And so we see this as one more support to help each of you in your work um, for your internal work, but also for how you're, you're helping in the nonprofit community. So we appreciate that. Um, we are fortunate um, to also be able to network through these sessions because we often don't have time we're doing our own thing in our own places and we're across the state. We don't have time to really get to know each other. And there are so many valuable resources today on this call. So we, we hope through this opportunity, you will get to meet a new friend and a new colleague that you may have the opportunity to work with or learn from. Uh, but today we have two, two folks that have generously volunteered to, to lead the discussion. Um, sort of in the realm of what I'm um, sort of passionate about, which is communications. So today we, in, we will have uh, Jessica Monday uh, with Trio Solutions in Mount Pleasant and Catherine Harvey, who is with New South Collective in Spartanburg. And, you know, both of these ladies have been really instrumental partners to Together SC. Jessica and her team were side by side with Together SC for I don't even know how many years, Jessica. I want to say six, maybe it was 106. I, I don't know. <laughs> but it was a, a long time um, that you were, were partnering with us and we just so enjoyed that relationship. And, and most recently we've started working with Catherine and Brooke uh, Robertson, who works with Catherine, which is shouting out with a handshake. And, and, and these ladies are now helping us with our communications as, as we go through every day. So thank you to both Jessica and to Catherine, and of course to Brooke for being here this morning and leading this conversation. And with that, I think I'm turning it over to Jessica first. Is that who's taking the helm? Yes, I'll be um, glad to kick off. And we do have some slides. So if we could um, pull those up while uh, I get started. And it's so great to see so many familiar faces that I think so fondly of. And um, I just, it's always great to get together with the business partners and just see so many um, professionals who are dedicated to a field that, you know, really inspired me to start TRIO. And 
I've thoroughly enjoyed um, getting to know Catherine and look forward to supporting her and her team as they continue to support Together SC. And we, we had great conversation and dialogue as we were putting today's um, presentation together. So um, I think really the, the subheading on this slide is really what our intent is, is we have some ideas that we want to share with all of you so that Together SC can really be our biggest cheerleader. I mean, they are as passionate ab about the work that we all do in our respective businesses as we are about the work they do for the nonprofit sector. And they have raised their hand so many times. I've witnessed it firsthand of saying, we, we wanna help you. We want to help grow your businesses. We want to help grow you as professionals. We believe in what you're doing and um, we're ready to take them up on their offer. And we wanna see more business partners take them up on their truly generous and genuine invitation to promote our business partners. So I know Madeline, you had something that you wanted to share. So maybe if we could go to the next slide. Um, Debbie, are you driving the slides? Just want to make sure I'm cueing the right person. Looks like it's Catherine driving. It. I think it might be Catherine or Brooke. <laughs> it's not <laughs> okay. I'm driving. All right, so um Madeline, I know you wanted to talk a little bit about board engagement services. So if you want to share that with the group and then I'll dive into, you know, what it really means to be a business partner. Um, uh, delighted to do that. And um, the board engagement services is just one of the benefits we aim to offer you as business partners. We revised those benefits two years ago to give you several tiers of um, to choose from in terms of uh, going from a, a, a benefits based or, or dues based on employee size to dues based on level of engagement and what type of engagement. And that was in part aimed to help get more of our business partners at the summit. The summit didn't isn't happening this year. So if any of you know Mary Dell Hayes, uh, Mary is uh, Dell is stepping in to help us look at our membership services in a more strategic way. And we'll be looking at that with us but we would value your feedback uh, on the benefits that mean the most. Um, specifically, what I wanna to talk to today is about the board engagement services. We started these, and if you're on the Together SC website, you'll see this under um, learning. We started these when Sharon Thomas was working with us. And our thought was, let's keep together. We see a need, we see a need from our smaller nonprofit members for basic governance training, whether it's 101 or work plan development and such. And we said, let's keep together a C from growing a huge staff by partnering with the consultants that are already doing this work and doing it well. But let's see if we can make it easier for both the nonprofits and the business partners by coming up with a couple of standard products at a standard price where we can help market and make available do the contracts, and then you can just simply go in and deliver the services. Um, and that uh, series of products, there are two or three of them on there, has been um, quiet the last year because of what's been going on with the, pan the COVID pandemic. But we are beginning to get calls and um, several of the consultants that we worked most uh, regularly with on that, um, Ellen Stevenson and Sharon have retired. So this is a shout out to ask you if you will look at those services and the deliverables and the pricing of them and then get back to Ben and me and say, hey, I wouldn't mind being one of the preferred providers of these services. Because I think what we want to do is instead of sending it out every time we get a request, we'd like to identify two to three of you who would be willing to deliver it, put your, your information on that page so it's clear from the get-go that when, um, folks work with us, what they're really getting access to is a great team of consultants to deliver that product. Um, I'll, do I, I don't know if I have time for quite to take questions or not, maybe just um, email me in the chat box. Uh, but I just wanted to do a, a very public call for you to, if this is your area of work, a board governance, strategic planning, um, to look at these products and see if there's something that might be an easy thing for you to deliver virtually or in person. We're, we're, 
we're looking at offering it both ways um, and getting back to us as, as to whether uh, we can partner with you on that. So uh, Ben, did I leave anything else out on that? Hey, Madeline, um, let me ask a quick question. It's Patrick, uh, is there a high demand for this right now? Are you, are you hearing from a lot of members saying we want this? We can't tell. I will say it is picking up from nothing to some, <laughs> you know, and um, <laughs> we, are, we definitely want to be able to um, meet the need. If we can find two or three people that are willing to do it, we could put some marketing behind it. We really have not promoted it. So anyone coming to it is coming to it because they have found it on the website. Um, uh, but, and we, as I said, we haven't marketed because we really haven't been able to deliver it. So if we had people willing to deliver it, um, we think we could market it. And I do see more and more boards saying, okay, we got to get back to some form of planning and business as usual. Can't, we can't just stay in a, you know, constant emergency status. We need to be looking forward. Um, so, and one of the things I like about this is that as, as you may know, a product we offer our members is a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with the board chair and the exec. And it's during that call that we often line out, help them line out what their governance tasking should be and how it should be led by the board chair, not the staff, and help them think through preparing for some of this kind of uh, board training. So we think it's a good partner, uh, a next step to have these resources available after we do our individual uh, calls with them. Patrick, did that answer the question? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I know that spring is a time when a lot of folks do planning. You know, whether they're in a fiscal year that starts July 1 or they're starting a calendar year and they're a little behind on the planning. So. Well, I will say this. I, I have gotten over the past, I would say two years, actually, if I'm thinking about this right. Um, I've gotten an increase in interest from organizations wanting some kind of board coaching, board engagement, you know, everything from governance training to, you know, board engagement kind of thing. Um, and I'm getting more of that and I'm doing more of that, not a lot. Um, and I just wondered, and, and, you know, it might be interesting to hear from others who are hearing the same thing, but it's been a little bit of an increase the last year or two for me in, in organizations that are interested. So perhaps if it is marketed, it would get someone's attention. Colleen, you're the expert in this field, been doing it so lo so very long and so very well. Uh, what are you seeing in the field? Yeah, hey, uh, thanks, Madeline. I, I am I agree with Patrick that I am seeing a pretty uh, an uptick in the number of organizations that are looking um, for some support and assistance. One of the things I've noticed is um, it's been a bit challenging for boards to stay engaged during this COVID crisis that we've been dealing with. And so not only are they struggling somewhat with governance, but then how to do that um, on a remote basis. So that kind of just adds a, another layer to the challenges. But I, I think it'd be wonderful if y'all are willing to um, start marketing it as a, or I guess re-market is more, because yeah, I, <laughs> I know you were doing it for a while. Well I want to make sure everyone's been to the website because uh, Ben helped us lead an up a fresh and a refresh of the website over Christmas. And we put what we call marketplace front and center on the first page, both mobile and website. And so be sure to go in and look at your profiles because the first step in marketing is having them see your terrific logos, your beautiful faces, seeing what you're doing. Um, and so we have that marketplace set up as a way for people to find services. And I, I think since we put it so much more visibly on the website, we're already getting people talking about using it. And it's now a link in every For Good connection. So please, please, please pay attention to that. Madeline, I'll throw in one more thing and that is just, this is just the Jinx perspective, okay? <laughs> but um, I think the CEOs need a ton of training on board engagement, not just the boards, because what I've found in research and in practice is that boards that are not engaged, the reason is rarely that they're not interested or want to be engaged is that they really don't know what to do. And the CEO is the person that can really shape that path for the board. So I don't know how much of your um, of what's on your site. I know you sent it to me the other day. I got to look at it some more, but 
there's board, there's training the boards and helping them, but there's also, I think it's really critical that we train the CEOs on their role in board engagement because it's huge, if not that's paramount. I like to start with the coaching with the board chair and the ED to make sure they each know their roles. But that's also a good shameless plug for February's nonprofit uh, talking together call that you were leading about board engagement, which is a good reminder. We have still need, um, Be Debbie, I think we're still planning out March, April, May, and we love to use our business partners in these calls. So uh, that's another marketing opportunity that we make available. So, uh, Madeline, and I also think, I'm sorry, sorry, Julie, to interrupt you. Um, I also think what I'm hearing on the ground is, you know, in, in addition to board engagement, we've had such a fo focus on racial equity, um, and that has become such a major issue with boards as well. And I know some of our colleagues that are on the phones today are, are those that are working in that arena. And um, that is without a doubt something that's just critical to, to moving our boards forward. Debbie, that was exactly what I was going to say. So I, you said it perfectly. I, I just think that I think it'd be nice to have a have an offering down there on with DEI training. We do have a separate link for that, that has been in our Facing Race Together part of the section of the, the newsletter every time, at least it yeah, was. I think I would go ahead and have it a training module in the in this one of the things. I will add it to the board engagement services. Okay, if any of you are doing that kind of training and you can see a basic entry level product that could be standardized and priced accordingly and you'd be willing to deliver it, we'd be glad to add it to that. You know, our, our thought is that these products are targeted towards nonprofits um, where the margin is pretty small in delivering the services. And that by getting them engaged and working with consultants, even if it's a one-off, we will open them to the opportunity for longer, greater partnerships. But this is, whenever someone says, I need one, two, three, I want coaching, I want board, I want strategic plan. I say, you need to go directly to one of our business partners and engage with them and that. And, send us the request, we'll send it out or whatever. But, you know, we want this to be entry level. We don't want it to um, be something that competes at the higher level um, where we know there's uh, more expertise and time taken to deliver the product. But yes, Julie, I would love it if we could add a product like that. So please, if you're interested in that, let us know. Well, I'm not a leader in that, but I certainly would, I'm happy to help anybody or do whatever I can to help support So that. I think John and Beth and, and maybe Cleo's doing this work. I'm not yeah, sure. sure. But yeah, definitely. Else has to do this work. And, and, and we do see that and we have seen a great uh, increase in the need requests for those kind of services. OK, uh, uh, cut me off, Jessica. I've gone too long. Okay. No, that was a good that was a good segue. Um, Catherine, if you want to go to the next slide, we've already introduced ourselves. Um, and what we are going to do today is um, we felt like it was important just to kind of go back to the basics. I think we all sometimes, not intentionally, but maybe just take for granted what it means to be a business partner. Um, certainly with anything in life, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. And um, we wanted to go through that today. We have some takeaways for you as to how you can make the most of your business partnership with Together SC and how the communications team can really help promote you. And Catherine will go over some of those examples. And then we're going to break you out into groups and allow you to talk amongst yourselves. Um, and really, we're just kind of challenging you to hold each other accountable to provide us with the deliverable that we're going to ask for at the end of this call. Um, and certainly as we go through this section, I would love for each of you just to put in the chat one thing that you really enjoy about being a business partner. So I love this quote from Helen Keller, um, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. And I feel like that really summarizes what the essence of Together SC is. And it is such an honor for us to be able to be part of an organization that truly represents hundreds, um, if not thousands, when you think of volunteers and employees and board members and staff, literally thousands and thousands of people across this state all striving to make South Carolina the best that it can be. Um, 
But when we think about a business partnership, there really are six kind of elements or criteria, if you will, to make it a true partnership. And you know, the very first thing is that it's truly a mutually respected relationship where Together SC respects the work that we do as business partners. We respect Together SC for the work that they do within the um, audiences that they serve as well. And then I think for all of us, I'm sure we all would attest to this, that we're driven to support Together SC's service to their members, um, both the nonprofit members and the philanthropic members. And that because of that drive, we naturally have this desire to work together to advance the social good. And I hope um, that we all feel some sort of pride in that affiliation, knowing that at the end of the day, the work we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and our boots on the ground really is making some type of difference and that we should be proud of the work that we're doing across the state of South Carolina. But I think really what's gonna help us with today's conversation is the word active because we have a lot of business partners and you guys have an advantage over the business partners who aren't on the call today because you're gonna get one, you're gonna get a leg up on them when we get to the end of the presentation and we extend an invitation to help promote you and your business, but you have to be willing to be an active partner. The partnership is a two-way street. Again, what you put in, you're gonna get more out of and vice versa. But I think it's also important to note that just because we want to be a business partner, does not mean that Together SC has to put their stamp of approval on our business. We have to be dedicated to providing the highest quality service available because they're associating their brand and their reputation with the work that we're doing. And we're also associating our brand and reputation with the work that they're doing. So we all have a vested interest to live up to our promise and to protect and um, elevate each other's brand. And so when we really take that into consideration, I think you really start to see the beauty of being a partner. And I hope that the examples that we share today will inspire all of you to really take even further advantage there may be a couple people on this call today that are really doing everything they possibly can to make the most of this partnership. But if I had to bet, I think all of us could probably dive in even a little further. So I hope that we're all inspired to do that by the end of our call this morning. Catherine, will you go to the next slide? Um, so these are just some ways that um, you can be promoted as a business partner. And if, if anything, just kind of use this as a checklist. If you have not done these things, please, please do them um, because they're there for your advantage as a business partner and they're there to help market your, your company. And, you know, all of us have access to the Ally for Good badge. If you don't have that email myself or Catherine, we will make sure that you get that. At the very least, you should have that on your website somewhere and link that back to the Together SC website. Again, that is credentials that set you apart from other like businesses that are out in the marketplace. Make sure if you haven't um, maybe during your time in your breakout groups, don't do it right now because then you will be focused on what we're sharing, but maybe during the breakout, go look at your business um, listing on the Together SC website. There's a lot that still needs some TLC. At the very least, your logo, your brand, your identity should be uploaded to that directory. So go take a look at it. There's a lot of great information you can add to your business um, listing. And then also 
oops, sorry, we're going back. Um, the, you know, share your content, share your story with Together SC. That's the part that we're going to dive into further today and that we really are going to challenge you on that because we know all of you are sitting on great stories to tell and we want you to let Together SC know what those are so that they can share them on your behalf and the members behalf that you're working with. And then if you haven't done this, um, we encourage you send a press release um, that you are a business partner. Even if you've been a business partner for 10 years, you know, if you just renewed your membership, that's an opportunity to send out some type of announcement saying, I'm going to pick on Patrick, the Jinx perspective has renewed as a business partner with the state's largest nonprofit association organization. That's an opportunity for Patrick maybe to get some mentions in the business section of the um, local media. And we all love those mentions. So, you know, promote what you're doing on social media. When you're sharing your work and you know that the organization you're working with is a Together SC member, tag Together SC. You don't even really have to talk about Together SC, but just tag them and that's giving them a little nudge of, hey, this work that I'm talking about is related to one of your members. They will share it. I, I promise you they will share that content or they will engage. And you know we all love to see more engagement when it comes to our social media presence. You know, include proud business partner in your e-communications. If any of you are sending out a regular monthly e-newsletter, in your footer of the e-newsletter, put your ally for good badge and put a proud business partner of Together SC. Again, it's just more credentials adding to the value of your brand and your expertise. And this really goes back to the invitation that Madeline just gave us. And obviously when we get back to have an in-person uh, events and even with the, the virtual events we're doing, if you are interested in being a speaker, they will find a spot for you, whether it's through the coffee talks like we're doing now or you know future summits or future professional meetings that they host, they'll find somewhere for you to be able to share what you do and your expertise. And then also, you know, once we get back to in-person, you all you always have the first invitation to exhibit. So there are other benefits. I know the Together SC team has a one-sheeter based on the different business partner levels that provide all types of different um, benefits. And maybe Madeline or Debbie, we could send that out to the attendees after the call today as just a, a reminder. But before I turn it over to Catherine, um, I just want to point out that these are, again, just some really basic uh, reminders. Some of these probably are not new to a lot of you, but just a reminder that they're, that they're there for your benefit. And um, what we'll do is, I think Mark, you had asked about the, um, the badge. Maybe Madeline or Ben, do you know where that is on the site or is that something that needs to be emailed to everybody? Oh, she just shared it. So in the chat box, there is a link and you should be able to um, right click and save it and use it. And if you need any special format of the, the badge, just reach out to the Get Together SC team. They have the files in multiple variations and can give those. So if we all wanna get golf shirts made with the Ally for Good on the, on the shirt, but. All right, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Catherine and she's going to share some examples and then help lead you guys into your breakout. Catherine, you're on mute. 
Catherine. All right, there you go. I was going to say, if you just read that checklist and you were you kind of like sat up for a minute because you've done one of those things, uh, you're not alone. I had failed to actually check my own profile page until we started building this presentation. And it's all of us just moving so quickly, right? So I think this is a moment to say, even after this meeting, go on your page, take five minutes and just make sure your information's updated and start there. And then we're gonna talk to you now about how you can kind of further your awareness and impact within the organization. So um, a few things that we have really been um, getting our arms around as we started this new year, both for members and for business partners, but I think almost more critically for our business partners right now is how can we elevate um, the work you're doing in the community at large, but specifically highlight um, you as an organization within our TSC business partner community. So I think TSC has upwards of 800 members right now, and um, that feels like a lot, but it takes it takes specific strategies to reach those members sometimes. So we're, we're, this isn't just pick one of these things. This is, this is all uh, available to you. And we want you to have multiple opportunities of visibility and connection um, with TSC this year. So um, several folks have uh, guest, guest blogged or uh, written an article that goes out on the uh, newsletter platform for TSC for Good Connections. Um, this is an excellent way to just talk about uh, who you are and what you do in more of a longer format. Um, we suggest with any of these content examples, the more connectivity you can bridge into a work you have done with a TSC member brings it full circle. Um, and it, it really makes, um, I think it elevates just the work within the larger community. Um, so the guest blog and article are, are you know, just think about if you'd write like an opinion piece, like that length or even shorter, right? So we can give you examples of those, but um, that, that's a really easy option. And what we're doing right now is we're, we are building out that larger communication content calendar for the whole year. So we can work with you from a timeline standpoint as well, right? We might have ideas where your communication fits in within a larger um, strategy for TSC, but if you want to place a piece of communication around something that you have going on to build awareness around a, a particular season, initiative, or time of year, we can definitely work with you. Um, video intro. So um, Jessica is going to show you an example <clears throat> in a minute, but everybody's been working from home and gotten a little savvy about doing their own videos. So, you know, 30 to 60 seconds of a, a, your own pre-recorded video. Um, and we'll include this on, we, are, we built a Together SC YouTube page that can link to your profile page. And it also gives us more media rich content to promote you on social media. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about what that script could look like. But if you can record your own video and share it with us, we'll bookend it with kind of TSC branding and graphics. So it's something that you can share out both highlighting that you're a business partner, but it's a way for us to push a little more content to uh, the members of TSC. Um, again, that's more dynamic. Um, social media content. Uh, Jessica just hit on this. Tag us, tag us, tag us. That's the easiest way for us to share. If you've got a bit more of a buildup um, or a larger uh, body of work you want to share, just um, send it our way. We're make, we'll make sure everybody has contact information for the cons team. Um, we are here to highlight uh, you and your work, um, and we want to make sure we're doing that regularly. Um, but I think as Jessica noted, it has to be a participatory partnership. So we're going to get better about trying to pull content from you, reminding you that we want to hear what's going on and we need you to reciprocate by pushing it to us as well. So it's just setting that reminder um, as you're thinking about everyone else you want to tell about a special project or as you're really um, gearing up um, looking for new business, just put, put me on that list, right? And so that way I can help Madeline and team really push out um, the work you're doing 
um, in a timely fashion. And then um, creating case studies. Um, so this is gets a little deeper than any of the other examples, but um, really thinking about a successful uh, opportunity you had with a TSC member. So an example here was Patrick um, in the Eat Smart Move More uh, rebranding. Oh, excuse me, Patrick's strategic planning with Eat Smart Move More and rebranding with Trio. So um, just thinking about you know, a lot of us already have a little bit on our own sites about these projects. How can we take that and turn it into a communication piece that reaches the larger TSC audience, potentially links back onto your profile page, but just gives a little more meat about the your process, quite frankly, right? Like it actually is an example of a successful body of work that you have achieved within the TSC community. And most of us that are not brand new have at least one of those. Um, so I think that to me is actually, I almost wanna start there because once you have that example, you can use it in each of these other, uh, other content opportunities. Um, but that, I think that case study is a really rich opportunity and it, and it can be linking back to your site or it can be information that we break into um, to a larger, a longer format blog or social post. Um, and especially if you have uh, creative examples that have come with it. Um, I think Jessica had a great idea for the video as well, Jessica, that was if you're able to be with your TSC partner or split a screen with them, you could collectively talk about the work you've done, right? So there's there's multiple examples of how the, these content opportunities um, can, can materialize. It's just a matter of helping us understand the work that you've done. And I, I wanna just elaborate, because um, I'm picking on Patrick today. Um, he didn't even know I was putting this in here but I just want to share this example because I thought it really, it really demonstrated the essence of the partnership and the relationship with Together SC and their members. So, you know, Patrick worked with Eat Smart Move More through a very in-depth strategic planning process. And out of their strategic planning process came their initiative for the need to rebrand which then led to conversations with TRIO about us helping them with that creative um, project of going actually through the rebrand. And so I'm challenging Patrick, we should definitely do a case study about how that one relationship evolved into the other. And I know all of us have other similar examples um, of those type of scenarios where they played out and at the end of the day, what's so great about it is that because of this nonprofit's engagement, and there may be other business partners. So if there are others of you on this um, call who've worked with Eat Smart Move More, I, I would invite you to reach out to me and let's make the case study even more robust. But I think that's a, a great example of how two business partners at the end of the day will have helped this nonprofit who is a Together SC member become an even stronger organization and positioned to now go into their next chapter um, of their existence. And we should share, we should share that story. So I hope you'll take me up on the challenge, Patrick. <laughs> um, Jessica, let me add to that because I, I think it's great. And I'm glad you shared it on here. This has happened a lot and probably a lot more than I even know or that we even know, because I will tell you, it probably doesn't surprise anybody, marketing, for example, branding and marketing and communications is almost on everybody's strategic plan of how to lift our brand and all of these things. And so one of the things that um, I have always found fulfilling is when a year later, uh, after I've engaged with them in strategic planning, one of the most tangible pieces of evidence that they're actually executing on their strategic plan is when they've gone forward and done these things. And so to your point, this wasn't, this wasn't intentional, 
um, you know, I didn't tell them you should go to Trio, for example, but I probably should have given them uh, two or three business partners to, to, you know, for me, it was just, yeah, okay, here's the, we've identified marketing, branding, et cetera. They, ch they reached out to you, chose you probably through Together SC, but I think we can be more intentional mm -hmm. about those kinds of connections. I've worked with, um, uh, uh, Colleen knows this, uh, with, um, with uh, Skedvasa, um, worked with Kathleen Brady on while she's doing evaluate, you know, program evaluation kind of thing while we're doing strategic plan and stakeholder feedback. That was a little more intentional, but we actually brought two business partners in the room together to talk with Sara at Skedvasa to, to see how each of us uh, can can add value to the organization. So I think it's a great point, but I think we can actually be more intentional about it. There's a lot of serendipitous stuff that we don't even know has happened in those kinds yeah. of connections. That is true. And, um, you know, Colleen and I have worked and collaborated with other uh, nonprofit professionals who aren't on the call. And so I, I think to your point, we're all sitting on these stories and they're great stories to tell. So I hope as we go into the breakout sessions that these examples that Catherine has have just shared and that this conversation have sparked some um, reminders of projects that you're working on or maybe projects that you're working on right now. So um, yes, I, I hope that your, your wheels are turning and you're remembering great things that you've worked on. And uh, Catherine, since I'm not driving, I don't know if you're able to share that sample video. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let me pop out this one second. I'll also just say from a, a just purely a timing standpoint, uh, it's still the beginning of the year. So reflecting on the impactful work you've done year prior, it's like the perfect time to do it, right? So this is that that moment, everybody's planning for the year ahead, but really taking a minute to think about what you've achieved and what you've done, certainly within TSC community. Um, now is the time. Okay, let me see if I can get this up, you guys. This is the Jenny test video, correct, Jessica? Yes, so uh, just disclaimer. This is not a highly professional video that we're wanting to put out there. I specifically asked one of my team members to quickly take her iPhone, record a video, and I literally put a slide on the end and a slide at the, uh, the beginning and a slide at the end because I wanted to show you guys for anyone that might be intimidated by video, that if you just give us a clip, 30 second, 60 second clip, literally recorded from your iPhone, we can brand it for Together SC and share it to the community. So this is a 55 second quick plug for video content. I'm Jenny Dennis, CEO and Chief Creative Officer at TRIO. TRIO is a full-service marketing communications agency based in Mount Pleasant with a team who is passionate about using our talents to support nonprofits. For many years, TRIO has loved being a business partner with Together SC and engaging with members just like you. You can learn more about Team TRIO and who we are by visiting our website at trio-solutions.com. We also invite you to connect with us on social media by searching at TRIO Solutions. Our doors are always open and we would love to meet you, so come by any time. We believe that nonprofits have the greatest stories to tell, and we would welcome the opportunity to help you share yours. So that video was put together from an iPhone and an iMovie. So when we're asking you to give us video content, we're not asking you to go spend $1,000, $2,000 with a videographer. Um, we can make it look polished without you spending any money, quite frankly. Just mm -hmm. put your phone, record a genuine message about what you do. Um, we had a quick call um, in preparation for today's session. Mary Dell brought up a good point. You know, while it's great that Jenny in that video was talking a little bit more about what TRIO does, 
what would make it even um, more impactful is if maybe she gave some examples of how TRIO has worked with nonprofits. So when you're when you're providing your video content, if you um, you want to give a little almost like the little case study we were talking about, but we're really not dictating what you put in your video content. We just know video content gets consumed better than text. And we're sending out an open invitation. If you provide that content to us, we will share it. And Catherine's team has been working on how we can add that media rich content to your directory page on the Together SC website. Why don't we go ahead then and um, put everybody in their breakouts and we want to challenge you to come up with one piece of content that you will provide to Together SC. I think what we would love to do now is maybe take the next 15 minutes um, and hear from you what your ideas were within each of your breakout sessions. And I believe Catherine wanted to also see if anybody had any ideas outside of the four that we, we uh, provided. Anybody want to be the first one to share? Everybody's muted. Unmute yourselves. I'll jump in. Um, we had uh, uh, Colleen and Brent and Allison and Mark in our group. And I would summarize by saying, you know, we've all got this expert, it's expertise in an area um that you know uh, brett is a cpa and you know it helps people get tax credits for their vehicle use which can be used as fundraisers for nonprofits or the nonprofits actually qualify if you've got a fleet vehicle or a senior citizen van or whatever um and and allison uh is with a um a crm company you know charity proud so you have three tips on how to get the most out of your CRM, for example. So think we talked a lot about uh, blog posts that aren't salesy, but give content, give some expertise and build trust in your own expertise in an area. And some of, some of us are doing it already. Mark also mentioned, you know, he's got the Nonprofit Academy, for example, um, uh, with different speakers and things that, apply, you know, all the nonprofits in our membership ought to be interested in. Um, and I, don't, I think it's a good uh, question for you guys to see, is that the kind of content you're looking for too? You know, content on, hey, we have this event coming up or we have this opportunity or we've got this content you can, you can access. And I'll just share one more thing and then shut up. Um, the idea that came to me as the countdown was at 10 seconds. So we didn't talk about it in our group. I'm envisioning, I don't know how to articulate this, but I'm envisioning an ad, a video ad that, that is about Together SC business partners as a group that goes out to the membership and says, hey, did you know that there are businesses out here that are in Together SC because they want to support you? And maybe you have little sound bites and little uh, video clips of the various kinds of business partners and people. And I don't know how you choose it and, and do it. And, and it would be up to uh, Trio to do it. I'm not offering. So, but um, just a, like an ad, you know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a 60 second or even two minute ad about, uh, because I wonder how many of our nonprofits know what's available to them in the business partnership set. Anyway, that's my, I might've missed something in our group. So jump in Colleen or anyone, if I missed something. Patrick, I think you hit the nail on the head. We had been talking um, with the internal team about the listicle effect, right? Three tips, right? Just something really easy to digest that could go on multiple platforms. So that is absolutely uh, a way to both introduce yourself, but also just show your level of you know, expertise and make it something that's, that's um, that is um, engaging for folks. So that is an, an excellent example. I think 
your, um, I'll call it the business partner campaign is also something uh, Jessica and I had briefly touched on, which is basically, if you, if you just think about something scripted that everybody adds in that then can be kind of um, taken into more of a longer format um, kind of highlight spot, as you just talked about, um, that's definitely something we were thinking about down the line that really does show the depth and breadth of the partners. Um, so you've, you have, you've had your marketing hat on well. <laughs> and something I would like to add, um, just a quick tip on the blog concept is, you know, if you provide together a C with a blog and they publish it on their site and they link back to your site, that also helps in a, in a small way, but it helps with the search engine optimization for your business because that's considered a backlink and uh, Together SC has um, a good authority score on the internet. So it's essentially a backlink from a reputable organization. And the more you can get of those from a search perspective, um, it supports your business. So yet another, yet another reason to, to write a blog and, <clears throat> and let them publish it on their site. That's great. Does anyone else have, um, did anyone in their group, I'm just curious, as going through this uh, presentation, did it remind you of maybe a piece of content that you're already sitting on that you don't have to create, but you're like, you know what, actually I have this. Did that happen with anyone? I think, um, is M Melissa, she might've popped off. Um, I know she said the, the ISSAs had, had an idea. She may have popped off, but I, I was in her group. Okay. Um, I'm Zach with Octagon. We just talked a lot about kind of, I missed the very, the very beginning of the meeting, but um, we talked a lot about, uh, about project highlights and services highlights and just, you know, a lot of us aren't working on a million projects a year. So just kind of shooting out, like you mentioned, a press release or something, a video that shows what you've been working on lately. Um, and it sounds like we have a lot of, we had uh, Julie, Melissa, and Rachel in our group. And we talked a lot about, you know, their unique services and some of the graphic services and things that they do, um, especially with accounting services and things like that. So I think just updating you guys, like you spoke about and like Catherine spoke about as well, on a regular basis would help uh, a lot, just kind of the obvious things. Zach, you just made me think, I wonder if our, if it would be helpful <clears throat> to share within our business partner group, if they need videography or graphic services from our other partners. Cause we just said, grab your iPhone and shoot it. But like Zach's team's down in Columbia and my team's up in Spartanburg and Tria's down in Charleston. So if, they, if there are, if there are just services that you need in general for marketing yourself there, they live within this team too. That awesome. again, it's not an iPhone video, but it's something just to think about as you're building your own content and case studies, I mean, for your own website. And I think that that just elevates it a step um, sure. as well. That, that's Bad what luck. happened with, yeah, that's what happened with Melissa because she started describing what she does and the graphic facilitation, which I think is just incredibly cool. And um, I've got a graphic that, I mean, I've got a like a, well, I was saying I've got a flip chart where I wrote some stuff on it. This is just so ugly, but I really, it's really important to, it's become really important to me. And so maybe I'm like, well, I may, could you help me with this graphic so that I can just kind of have it and it'll be prettier and then it'll help me kind of facilitate my meetings just for the things that I'm doing. And then over time I can bring her in. Like I could, like I immediately can think of a meeting that it would be wonderful to have somebody help with that in the background. It's just figuring out how to pay for it. But I think if I started with showing how great it could be on a, just a little intro, that that would set the stage up for that in the future. And then we also, with Zach, I've got a nonprofit I'm working with that um, loves to do t-shirt campaigns and just getting good graphics mm -hmm. is, is really something, just a simple t-shirt graphic that they're kind of using an online system, you know, service to do that I think that they could provide to that online service might be better to kind of spread the money locally than help do it so 
And I thought it was really cool how she was talking about different visual and graphic services that they provide. They do a lot of in-person like meeting charts that fill up walls and graphics to kind of show um, the progress on projects that they they're undertaking. And I just thought it was cool because I mean, we think, you know, okay, let's do some cool graphics and things online and infographics and things like that. But you never really think about these different ways that you can show information and in you know, concrete ways at your meetings and, and things like that. So I thought it was really cool that, you know, there are different services, even in the graphic design world that we didn't even know about. And that's what we do every day. So I thought that was really neat to make that connection as well. That's excellent, guys. This is, you just build our little case study. When you guys all work together, let us know and shoot it back to us. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. And thank you, Mark. Uh, Mark Pittman put in the chat, just so everyone knows, there is a Facebook group for the business partners. So if everybody on this call wants to click on that, just make sure that you are part of that group. Um, that's another resource to be able to uh, share ideas and, and communicate if, if you're comfortable in the Facebook platform doing that. So no excuse for all the marketing and communication business partners. You guys <laughs> should be able to provide some content. <laughs> let's, lead, let's lead the way. And then I'm sure if there's any business partner that, um, you know, that's just not your area, you're just unsure even after today's call on what to do, reach out to any of us. I know you can reach out to myself, Catherine, Zach, I'm sure Julie, but she's communications pro. I'm sure any of us would be willing to point you in the right direction or, or hold your hand in creating uh, this content that we can share on your um, business behalf. Great. Could I ask a question? Sure. Could I ask another one? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, when it comes to content, I know for uh, some of us, um, as hard as it is, well, I'll speak for myself. Um, I don't like being self-promotional, which is ironic because if you follow me, you know, I don't, I'm not bashful about the stuff I'm doing, but um, I'd like to serve the members of Together SC. So are, are there, I could just riff off the top of my head about leadership or fundraising or social media, uh, but is there a way to know what would best serve? Is, is there a way to have a two-way street with maybe in the Facebook group people, um, some of the Together SC folks could be just saying, here, we're getting a lot of questions on this. Can anybody produce a blog post? So that we know that we're being responsive to members and not just the guy at the party that's saying, well, that's enough about me. Now, what do you think about me? And Mark, it's Madeline. Uh, that's mm. a good point. And that's sort of how I have done the, the blog post today. We're like when the executive order came up and talking with Charles on something else, uh, he said, this is just so horrible. It's the impact on consultants who do REI work. And I said, would you write a blog yeah. so that we would understand that the impact of that? Um, and with and I'm, trying, I'm not trying to take the pressure off of us. I, yeah. I, I don't want to be the board member that's like, well, well, we'll just add to the staff's to-do list. I don't want to do that, <laughs> but just so both hands. Recently, you know, I had a couple of members call and talk about, I think maybe I need a coach, you know. So I've asked Charles and, Mar and Patrick to uh, co-author a blog on coaching for execs. Nice. Um, I, I'd like the input. I think you're the primary fundraising consultant on this call. But Together SC has historically sort of pulled back from offering fundraising training because we wanted to support our three AFP chapters and our plan giving group and some of the other people. And we fe I felt like, hey, that's the area where there's the most training available. So we shouldn't do as much. But when you ask our members what they need, it is yeah. funding, funding, funding. So I yeah. am I'm trying to think about strategically how we offer more in that area in a collaborative way with the AFP chapters. And Mary Dell is a member of one of those chapters and um, we're looking at doing something in March with our main colleagues around plan giving. But I would value any of you who do fundraising to come to Debbie and me and say, hey, here's something that might not be competitive with what AFP chapters are doing that might be helpful. And I'm on the board too of the uh, upstate AFP, so. I, so, you know, and yeah. one of the things I have often seen is the need for coaching around fundraising. 
In fact, it's Ch I, Cham Lee was on the call, maybe she didn't get on, out of Spartanburg, because we talked with her about doing for fundraising staff what we've done with Charles for the new executive directors. Um, and we couldn't, we tried selling it and then COVID hit. Um, but if you've got a, and I know you're in the business of doing training, so we've been trying to promote your training. Oh, and but, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you have a product that you could see us offering as part of our network of training resources, um, Debbie and I would love to hear about it. Mark, are you doing podcast? I am, uh, and Madeline's been a guest. Yeah, just I, I do a podcast for just interviewing CEOs. Um, and on leadership, it's about 10 or 12 minutes. And have those podcasts been shared by Together SC? No, and we have a CEO listserv, which might be a nice Ooh. place to, to post some of those. Um, we, could, we could absolutely share that. Um, you know, we're try, our, our core value around uh, engagement is peer networks and building them. So we've yeah. got our Black Nonprofit Leaders Group. We've got our advocacy group. Um, the execs have been in this listserv, which is sort of the main tool with them, uh, and we're testing that, but we're definitely looking at creating other peer affinity groups that allow people to get targeted content. So if you had something for COOs or for um, uh, program staff that would allow us to give some specific content to that, we know that our execs want us to do more for their staff. Um, and we've always done that through the summit. And since we're not doing the summit this year, um, we know it's important to do some more of that. Debbie, what would you add to what I've just said? I don't have anything to add right now, but yeah, we always love working with any of our business partner groups and Mark, you certainly are a great resource for that. So yeah, any ideas are much welcome. Hey, I don't have, I don't know how many of the business partners or the organizations have podcasts, but podcast is a really popular thing and people love to listen to them. There could be a page on Together SC for, that lists all the podcasts. You know, for example, I know that Partners for Active Living, I don't know if they're a member, Partners for Active Living has their own podcast. They produce it for their for what they're doing in their work. You know, Mark's got one, I've got one, Charles is about to launch uh one um so there might you might be do some outreach and find there's enough to put on a page as a, as a podcast page i shared in the uh, chat box that uh, right now because the calendar function is so comp we put only together sc resources on the calendar page but we have a blog that we call learning together that we link to in for good connections and that is our member offerings around engagement. And we've created a separate section for business partner offerings. And Patrick's podcast is the only thing that's there. So any and every one of you, whether it's Mark's podcast or book, anything that you've got, let's start by getting it linked to there. And then you know we can then link to that from social and for good connections. Um, yeah, something else that might be, and I don't, um, Jessica and Catherine, y'all might understand how to do this better than I do, but it might be like, um, Hi, you know, I'm Julie Hussey with Civic Communications, and I'd like to know, I'd like to learn more about this firm and then kind of list a firm, you know, maybe that's on the on Facebook or something where then you just kind of almost like look in the directory and find somebody that you don't know. Mm -hmm. And then to be like, what do you do? Tell me about what you do. And then that person says, I do this and this. I'd like to get to know what this person does and just kind of start throwing on, see if we can see if we almost can kind of do a round robin where people are kind of, we're learning about each other, because I do think the initial customer could just be us using each other, growing that. Yeah, I think that's an interesting member strategy to present to, to Mary Jo. So I think we're the, this, uh, there's an iteration of this that's gonna be done with members. We wanted to start here and then start to kind of feed feedback that we found from our business partners so we can figure out how to better connect and align. And I think that's a great, a great opportunity um, and even just like breaking down for members who serves what category I think is just helpful for them to understand kind of like what's available and then make a direct connection so we can definitely make a note of that um, that Julie that's great 
All right, I know some people are having to hop off. So um, just, I want to share with all the business partners that are on here. So you get one, you get a leg up on everyone that's not. So the first 20 business partners that provide Together SC with some content by March 1 will be highlighted once a week. Together SC is going to pick one business partner to highlight starting April 1st. So, you know, you can provide a blog post. You could provide, you can just provide a picture. If you have a picture of you and a client that you've worked with and that client is a member, a Together SC member, send in a photo, send in a video. If you're already sitting on a case study of something that you've worked on with a partner, send that in. If you are already producing a podcast, send us a link to feature one of your podcasts. Um, so we're not putting any constraints on what you send. We're just asking you to send it. We know your social media accounts. We know your website address. So the first 20 business partners that send in, send in the content, we are going to start putting out a schedule over the next 20 weeks, so 20 and 21, and highlighting our business partners. And it would be a great problem to have to receive 40 pieces of content from 40 different business partners, mm -hmm. but we figure we'll, we'll start with 20, and you can send your content to Catherine, and Catherine, if you need help, Trio's happy to help make sure that we that you're not inundated and you know we can work together to get all of this done but just share with us your stories of the awesome work you're doing out in the field and we will highlight you that's great hey just a double check it's that email address is dot co and not yeah. dot com okay it, it'll, it'll go to either okay so, um I also I want to plug Madeline before we end the great uh, PNC call next week. Right? Is that open to everybody? Because that is a very timely thing for our business partners to also understand how opinion pages work. Oh, Absolutely. you're on mute. Absolutely. The one after that is on uh, marketing in general. So, and they're absolutely for me all me members. So it's, it looks like it's 8.45 a.m. on February 16th is the next series in the Post and Courier. Uh, uh, let's send the links to both of those sessions out in the follow-up email. That's great. For I folks who don't know about this, Madeline has, um, has uh, bridged a partnership with the Post and Courier statewide, and they're, they're coming together to talk about um, like regional support and then also strategies. And I think it's a very helpful session or sequence of sessions for all of us to attend, especially as they begin to bridge into the upstate. But personally, I have found a lot of value in, in writing opinion pieces locally for my paper to talk about what we're doing uh, to support the community because sometimes it's hard to get your release in there but an opinion can can often uh, uh, supplement and it, it, for all the type of content we're talking about right supporting local nonprofits etc it's usually something that that um, that is viable so I think that's a worthwhile um, session for folks to attend next week and then there'll be a, a marketing one after that thanks for that reminder Sure. Yeah, I should have mentioned that earlier. Okay, so I haven't heard from anyone on the engagement services. So just a final pitch, any of you, and maybe none, no one left on the call does that kind of work. But um, uh, And if there's one-on-one -on -one feedback, just Debbie and I want to hear it. So, and Ben too. So anyway, <laughs> who's Thank leading you. the next call? Uh, so, I yeah, that's my, can I take over there, Madeline? Um, yeah, so thank you. This has been absolutely amazing. Catherine and Jessica, as we were talking about this, I didn't know how, how useful this was going to be. And we're already talking about doing something like this for our nonprofit members as well. So thank you so much. This has been amazing. And thank you to those of you who could stick with us. I'm finding the format to 10 o'clock is really probably too long for most people. I think we really do need to 
um, get to a format that we can be a little shorter so everyone can attend the whole time. But, but those of you that were able to stay got some great information um, going forward and, and I hope we will get lots of content by the 1st of March. Next month, uh, in the same pattern that we've been going, we are on the second Wednesday at this slot time, 8.30. Um, we have invited um, your colleagues, uh, Caroline Malden and Q Frazier to, to lead that conversation. I've had initial conversation with them about what they're gonna do that day, but they are with the Southern Equity Collective and they also do consulting, but around racial equity. Um, and they are a broad um, region, regional group that's doing this work. And I think some of you have met these um, individuals on previous calls, but I'm really looking forward to what they can share with us next month. And, um, and what I love about this group is I'm already hearing about the connectivity that we're bringing through doing this. So on a monthly basis, we are coming together and building a, a really strong network of business partners. So thank you to all of you that have stuck with us. Is there anything else for the good of the order anyone else wants to share? Or? or say, but thank you for the shout out for the Post and Courier, you're right. This absolutely is, is great for our business partners. And thank you to Patrick, who's doing a, a session for our nonprofit leaders later this month. Um, Madeline, anything else you wanna share? <laughs> say thank you to everyone. Yeah, A1 session, thanks ladies. And all of you have a great rest of your day.